to everybody good. And after surgery, if you haven't had surgery yet, you're going to become familiar with the food label. Um, so this breaks it down into nitty gritty details. The basics that I want you to look at is always look at serving size first. So in this one, it says serving size at the top. Here's some cheese that has nutrition label. It's going to say right at the top. Usually it's the first thing under nutrition facts. Look at serving size. That determines how much you ate, the numbers that you ate. So if it said half a container was 8 grams of protein and I ate the whole container, how much protein did I eat? Just eat. 16. 16. So you have to double that number. So that portion size really does make a huge difference on how much you ate, the calorie intake. Just because it says 5 grams does not mean you ate 5 grams. You may have ate triple that. So always look at serving size first. The main things we look at after surgery for a weight loss um, phase is you look at calories first. Calories, we want that um, each meal to be under 200 calories a meal um, in the weight loss phase. Um, for protein, you look at total protein. You want to try to get 20 grams of protein or more per meal, eating three meals a day. And then the next one, the tricky one, is the total carbohydrates. So down here, there's a total carbohydrate level. Underneath it can get really confusing. There's dietary fiber, there's sugars. So you're probably thinking, well, what number do I look at? They're all different. We look at total carbohydrates right across the board. Don't calculate net carbs, don't calculate sugars, don't calculate net um, dietary fiber. Just look straight across total carbs. So those are the three things, calories, total um, protein and total carbohydrates. Those are the three main things you look at. Um, does that make sense? Does the food label make sense? you have questions on that? Um, this is like a little workbook, so each page goes into more detail about sodium content. If you're watching, yes? Um, I have a question about protein. How much protein should you have in a day? It should be 60 to 80 grams a day. So if you're eating three meals a day, if you make 20 grams of protein or more at each meal, that's mm -hmm. 60. Okay. So that's why you want to do at least 20 at that meal and eat three meals a day. Okay. That was a good question. Um, so 